teamed up with Harkila, specialists in outdoor wear for shooting, hunting and hiking. I've been invited to head office to see why their clothes are renowned worldwide for quality and performance. In this playlist we're going beneath the fabric, you'll see some of the best and newest pieces that are available and soon to come. This is the Pro Hunter Endure jacket. This is probably our um, mainstay piece. It's been in the range the longest. It's been around in one form or another for at least 25 years and is our absolutely best, toughest, go anywhere, does anything, has a five year warranty on it jacket. Um, there are also trousers and breeks and blah, 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 blah as well. But let's look at the jacket to start with. It's a green jacket. Yeah, there are millions of green jackets about, but not many people use this sort of quality of fabric. This is an Italian fabric. It's something that we've used for many years and it is incredible. It really is. It stands no end of abuse. And the people that have told me that they've used their um, trousers and they caught themselves over a barbed wire fence when you're climbing over and got off and they thought that they ruined a very expensive pair of trousers and you know can find virtually no damage at all. This is a fantastic piece of kit. It's not the lightest jacket you've ever seen but my goodness it's certainly one of the most durable in every way. The idea is also that it's relatively quiet. This is a leg of a pro hunter jacket and this I've chopped off to use as a demonstration piece over the years. As you can see that inside here the outside fabric is not connected to the membrane. So the membrane is laminated to the fleece liner and this is the Gore-Tex membrane. You can see it's got tape seams etc etc to keep you dry and uh, this is how this works and because they're not joined together it doesn't sound I hope you can not hear that too badly but it's very quiet uh, and, and that is exactly what we want. This is called a Gore-Tex woodland lining. They call all their linings something special and this is called the woodland lining. It's actually very difficult to find out information about this which is why I've chopped up an old pair of trousers that um, just to show people exactly what it's like and try and explain why it's quiet. If the two layers were joined together, it would be a very thick garment. It would be very rustly, it would be like a tent. It would be very thick and it would be very stiff. Whereas this, with the two layers that are not joined together, it makes it softer, much, much softer and much, much quieter. All good things that you want when you're hunting. It's a Gore-Tex membrane. Uh, that's very important because the Gore-Tex is still the best membrane out there. There are many different um, uh, other membranes you can buy, but we still use Gore-Tex and we've still got a lot of faith in Gore-Tex. It works extremely well. I know people who've had these jackets for 10 years, 12 years, and they've abused them like hell. They look a bit tatty by now, but I've got to say they're still just about waterproof and still doing a great job. So we know that this one has worked incredibly well over the years, and that's why we give a five-year warranty on this. It is a traditional style jacket, slightly longer, as you can see. You've got large pockets, can be used for all sorts of things. But what we've done is actually waterproof the back of the pocket here. So if it's out in really terrible rain, it hopefully won't go the, through this too much. Obviously, if you're pheasant shooting and you've got a quick load strap here, the water is gonna, and you've got a cartridge, a pocket full of cartridges, um, the water is going to get in there anyway. You're not going to be completely waterproof in the pocket department. There's actually no waterproofing on this bellows here, around there. Uh, it needs to be needs to be free of that. The top it, pocket top is also waterproofed. So we've, we've really tried our best to make sure, because the pocket area is where everything that goes on, you don't want your stuff to get wet if you can possibly help it. At the end of the day, if it's an absolutely torrential day, everything's going to get a bit damp and a bit steamy. Those are the main pockets. You've got hand warmers here. We've turned the zip upside down so it works from the top down um, and that's so that you can have the pocket open and the quick load strap click together but still close the pocket warmer, the, the, the pocket, because again if you're out in torrential rain 
and blowing wind, you don't really want this opened up because this is a, a way into your core area and you want to try and keep that protected from the elements as much as you can. The sleeves are quite wide and we have a set-in sleeve which comes straight up the front at the front but a raglan sleeve at the back uh, and this enables you when you're moving when you're shooting a gun if it's a shotgun or a rifle but predominantly thinking of movement with a shotgun gives you greater movement here uh, it looks smart but also gives you good movement and that's the perfect um, compromise really we use quite a long arm as standard on every jacket we make them over long so you pull them back and you use this velcro to tighten it up around the wrist most people shooting will not want water going down their arm if they're shooting and their arms are in the air so this works like that really well but it's not something it's not a Savile Row suit this is designed to be fitted to you and so you need to pull it back slightly they're designed to be slightly over long you can see here, if the camera will pick it up, you've got triple stitch seaming on a lot of these seams. Not all seams are relevant, but on these ones, this is around the articulated elbow, where you're moving like that, this can take a lot of uh, pressure. So on these important seams, we triple stitch them. There is a pocket on the arm, and you can pull out a signal band. Depending on where you are, there are various uses for this, but in the UK, even just walking the dog down, dog down a country lane, you might well want to be seen if it's in a, somewhere with no street lights. Um, if you're out pheasant shooting and you're really not sure if the old boy's shooting next to you, are his eyes as good as they used to be? No, probably not. You might want to put that on if you're in a wood or something like that. The idea is though for boar shooting. So if you're lucky enough to go out on a boar shooting trip, A, it's cold, uh, not too wet normally, but it's cold and snowy, but you will definitely want some sort of signal band to um, indicate your presence to your fellow guns because there's going to be 30 or 40 people swinging a 3006 around. You definitely want to let them know that you're there. It's got a hood, really good hood, and hoods are a place that are quite often compromised on because people think that, well, people don't like hoods and they're going to take them off. If you're going to leave this hood on, it does zip off. You can take it off. There's a zip around the neck there. Um, I used to work for a company, mentioning no names, that used to stud their hoods on. And uh, quite often this would get caught on a branch and they'd come and want to buy a replacement hood because it's left up a branch in a tree somewhere. The hood on this is exactly the same construction as the rest of the jacket. So it is as strong, it is as durable. You've got quite a thick wired and stiffened peak here so it doesn't flop down in front of your eyes and you can also pull it in you've got adjustment at the back here which pulls the sides in so if you are shooting you don't want to be looking down a tunnel you can pull this side back so you can see out get good view out to your right and left so a really really good quality hood that, that comes around obviously when that's done up and Velcros up under your chin. So you can really do yourself up. The, the, when you need a hood, you need a good hood. And this is a damn good hood. On the back side, there is a game pocket. Um, this has got a, it's not waterproof, but it's kind of a water repellent material. And if you need to wash it, just turn it inside out and, and, and wipe it down. This is a hunting garment after all, but uh, whether you put a, a partridge or a pheasant or something in there or whatever it'll do it's an extra big pocket for whatever you need on the inside there's a pocket behind the membrane so that will stay dry and so for all your important bits and pieces that you don't want to get wet this is where to put them so your wallet your keys whatever um, it's a great place for those there's no pocket on this side but that's the pro hunter jacket it's absolutely the toughest jacket out there, also the quietest. It's something that's wearable every day. We supply um, quite a lot of uh, police and military, etc., with this. So they, despite its 500 pound price tag, which is a lot of money, but you're getting a hell of a lot of jacket for it. And even some of the government departments that buy this, they recognize this. And so the guys who are living in a hole doing a covert job this is absolutely what they wear. They want to stay dry and warm as well. 
Thanks to Simon at Harkiller UK for showing us that. The next video is actually going to be to cover the trousers that go with that. And I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, hit the subscribe button, please. And look out for the next video. Thank you.